Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, and today on another pop review, we're going to be taking a look at Funko Pop Games, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, number 151, Aridin vinyl figure, so stay tuned. Alright guys, as I said, welcome back to Comageddon, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and again, we're taking a look at the Funko Pop Games, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, number 151, Aridin Vinyl Figure. Now, I'm not too familiar with The Witcher series. I came across this guy in GameStop, he was on sale. He looked really cool, so I figured I'd add him to my pop collection. Uh, so if you guys know anything about the Witcher series, leave a comment below and let me know about this guy. Um, I'd like to learn a little bit more about him. Um, so here we have Aridin here. Very nice. Peeking up there, Pop Games. Display side. And then the back we've got... Pop Games, 151, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Geralt is number 149. Ciri is 150. Aridin is 151. Yennefer is 152. And Triss is 153. So let's go ahead and open the box up and take a look at the Aridin inside. Alright, so it is a standard clamshell packaging like most Pops. However, it does not have the little clips like some of the newer pops do. But that's not bad. So here we have Aridin. Nice little skull helmet. Uh, the body really resembles Lord Zed from Power Rangers. Uh, very nice look. Uh, the head kind of reminds me of Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat. Very nice sculpt. The head does move turn around all the way as with most pops got a nice little sword here it's got like a serrated edge little knuckle guard got his shoulder pad armored glove very nice i'm not sure if that's if the red is his skin or if it's part of his armor or what, but that is a really cool design. And the helmet just, it looks awesome. It's a skull. Uh, they could have maybe, I don't know, maybe separated the colors a little bit better uh, because here, it looks like back here might be his skin uh, but it's the same color as, of his, as his armor. So they could have maybe used different shades of uh, red or maroon. Um, but it's still a really nice figure. Really like it. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to put it with my grails. Uh, but it's still a nice looking figure nonetheless. Uh, like I said, I don't really know much about the Witcher se game series. So if you guys do, leave a comment below. Tell me a little bit about Aridin. Um, really cool looking figure. Uh, his little crown helmet, horned helmet, whatever you want to call it. Um, very nice. I wouldn't recommend this figure for kids though. Uh, the sword looks like it could easily be broken. It's kind of a flimsy plastic, but still it's probably pretty brittle right around here where it's joined. Um, 
the horns are made out of a uh, similar plastic kind of rubbery gummy plastic uh, but I'm sure those would be pretty easy to snap off as well my neighbors just started up their truck out there so <laughs> um, but very nice detail on the armor very nice I'm not sure what more I can say about this guy considering I know absolutely nothing about this series um, it looks like he's got some battle damage on his helmet here kind of a symbol or something right there very nice they could have maybe used a little bit of silver or metallic black for the rivets but not bad so there you have it guys for this week's pop review this was the Funko Pop Games The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt number 151 aired in vinyl figure I'll see you again next Tuesday for another Funko Pop review. Take care, guys. Hey, guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.